Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a few things and checking if it's worth it. Checking if this DLC is worth it. So far, I'm not going to lie, uh, I am kind of disappointed. There's nothing added to Southern San Andreas. There's nothing added to Legendary Motorsports. And again, I'm only disappointed because Rockstar did say this is going to be the biggest DLC ever. So, the biggest DLC ever, to me, doesn't look like it so far. Only PS5. And so only the next gen consoles get the island on free mode and uh yeah we have to do a mission to get it so it's so disappointing right now right now i'm customizing to Toria door if that's how you say it and uh it is quite cool i'm not gonna lie i've just i've just messed about with it for a second it's quite cool but 3.6 million i don't know if it's worth that much it can go underwater and stuff but just check this out it's got a different type of boost so it's got a very quick loading boost so it recharges very quickly and um, it's just different because it's not the same as a nitrous it's not the same as the nitrous flames it's the same as the kind of rocket Baltic flames but coming through the exhaust which is weird so I'm gonna customize this and I'm gonna then customize the willy jeep to see if that is worth it right okay so you got the bumpers nothing really can change much here it's just loads of different types of colors of bumpers and chrome trim. I'll just put a chrome trim on. Rear bumpers, I'm guessing it is the same. Yep, it's the same. And that's pretty cool. You got like a, I don't know, ready flame in the exhaust. But yeah, with the back, you've just got the same bumper options. Um, It doesn't look like there's that many mods, to be honest. And this is a four door, which is pretty cool. Like there's no other car like this, which is a four door that you can actually see through. So if, if you want uniqueness, definitely get this car. And yeah, pretty cool, nice retro kind of uh, liveries. I might actually pick this one. Got the louvers and I'm not gonna lie, it's an ugly car. It reminds me of those kind of um, really cheap uh, toy cars. But I'm not going to pick any of these right now. Okay, respray. Oh, that's a really cool... <laughs> the crew colour looks pretty cool on this. I'll pick the crew colour. And... So you got a few spoiler options. So let's see how wheels look on this. I'm guessing they won't look that good. So I'll probably just stick with the stock wheels. I actually want to see if you can actually lower this. I doubt you can because it's probably armoured and everything. Right, yeah, so you definitely can't lower this car. And yeah, you've got missiles on this car. You've got bullets on this car. You can boost. You can go into submarine mode. Let's do that, actually. Let's go into the water and go into submarine mode. Right, okay, I've actually figured out what this car can do, and it's pretty cool. So if you go into the water, you can just drive in like that. But then you can go into submarine mode. But well, you can go into submarine mode by pressing right. So right on the D-pad. Goes into submarine mode just like the other car. And once you're in submarine mode, if you press R3, you get a radar. So now that you've got a radar, it shows you a little white icon on the map that you can go to. If I press, oh, it shoots rockets underwater. Um, and I can just boost there. Right, okay, here's one of the objectives that I'm collecting. I wonder what it is. And it is... Oh, hidden catches found. Right, I'm guessing you get something once you've collected all of them. To track how many hidden catches you found, go in the inventory section on the interaction menu. Okay, so it's in daily collectibles. So I'm guessing it's not that important. Right, next up is the Winky. And yeah, the de description just says basically you're vulnerable. So you wouldn't go into a battleground with this, would you? Pretty cool looking thing. Yeah. You don't have any armor on GTA Online. This is this is what you call a target in GTA Online. Right, okay, so you got bodywork. Oh, you can remove the spades. And supply kit, so you can put a tank. Uh, yeah, I prefer the stock look, to be honest. Uh, ball bars. So you got a nice little... A few ball bars here. I'll choose the older looking one. That I think that fits. Just, even though that looks like it came off a Mesa. Um does look like it fits the kind of era bumpers front bumper oh you've got an axe tow bar 
but tow bars don't even work in this game. I wish they did. I think I'm just going to keep the ropes. What is this? Pole bumper. I do not know what that is. Um, let me know if you know what that is. Pole bumper. Fenders. You've got some accessories again to put on the fenders. Health kits. I think I'll put that on just because it looks pretty funny. Grill. We got the Winky logo. Hmm. I think I'll just stay with stock to be honest. Headlight covers. There's a lot of modifications for this. And there we go. We got some nice liveries as well. Camo liveries. I think I'll keep this green. Unlocked. How do you unlock this? Delivery can be unlocked by purchasing via bunker property. Oh. So our roof, you got some uh, light poles. Suspension. Wheels. I wonder what wheels would look like putting on this. Oh no. Did I just have green wheels and it's gone now? Damn. And that's it really. I mean, it's a really cool car. Um... Obviously, you know, buy it if you've got a lot of money. This this is really slow. <laughs> buy it if you've got a lot of money because all you really like Jeeps. I don't know. It's a cool vehicle. It's unique, but just really expensive. So, yeah, my thoughts on the DLC. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed. I, when GTA said it's the biggest DLC, I expected a lot. Like, if they just said, you know, a DLC is coming out, then that would be fine. But they said this will be the biggest DLC and what have we got some weapons apparently there is going to be like a faggio oppressor coming out um for those who get the free vehicles but i don't know it's just disappointing let me know what you think let me know if you found it disappointing or i'm just being negative here if none of you have seen inside the submarine it's pretty cool you can shoot missiles and on free mode um i'm just hoping this online island so no one's actually done the heist yet that i can see and i'm hoping that um you get the island on free mode once you've completed the heist let me know if you want to see some other type of video some more information i've got quite a lot of money i've got more money than this on the screen to spend so if you want me to spend money on anything else hopefully there's some cars that come out uh, after you've done the heist so i can make a video on those but as far as this is um hopefully we get the island Thank you so much for watching guys and uh, see you in the next one.